Michael. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we do have word or reports coming out from Collider, the article that you see on screen right now that yeah, what you're seeing is correct. The sequel to Halloween 2018 apparently is going to start filming this upcoming fall and then it will release next fall on October 16th, 2020. Now this isn't a confirmation from the actual, from the studio, Blumhouse, Jason Blum, nobody has made anything confirmed anything official from that party but reports and sources have gone gotten to collider and collider's reporting that the film is expected late next year in october and is going to start shooting this fall uh jamie lee curtis is expected back i don't know if james u courtney is going to come back i think david gordon green and Dave, danny mcbride will be back to write and i think david green will direct uh judy greer andy Matchak, i think those parties will all be back i think all the entire stroll trilogy of uh or the entire stroll generation of women will be back for this movie um my hopes for this movie is that it is not like set years later i hope it's a continuation of that night from the last movie setting it in the night of the last movie may means that you're no that you're not going to be rendering the last movie pointless because the point of the last movie was for jamie lee curtis's character and laurie stroll to take back the narrative in a way to become free from the person who she feels stole her life from her all those years ago when she was 17 and the events that occurred in halloween 1978 to her and her friends on that uh on that tragic night for her as a young teenager my thing is if they said it years later you're now setting that movie uh pointless setting it in the same night setting this new movie in the same night will leave room to extend on what was already being told from the last movie it works as an extension so thereby in effect does not render the last movie pointless you would also don't have to worry about explaining where michael was for however amount of time you're going to have him gone you also don't have to worry about trying to explain or just you don't have to worry about trying to explain a lot of this stuff that plagues these movies and i i really do not like how because halloween h2 was my favorite sequel i cannot stand how we do not know where he was for 20 years and some people say that that's not important well yes it is because at the end of the day he's still a human being and he's still not he's not supposed to be immortal in this in this timeline we're taking him back to being human again we're not having that cult of thorns stuff and none of that stuff is a factor in this new timeline because it's a direct sequel to the first movie so by that you can't have him out here just like inexplainably just being able to live and no one's catching him i i just hate that aspect of it where can we find it? at least let us know where he was staying and what he was doing i i believe it's not out of character for us to see michael myers doing stuff around town or whatever but i'd like to see how he's doing this how is he staying gone for so long so if you don't want to get into issues like that and plot inconsistencies such as that just set it in the same night honestly you need to set it in the same night so it does not make the last movie look pointless have uh michael myers escape the house fire make his way to wherever he is or have the strolls find out he's still alive he doesn't need to go after them that he doesn't need to have a target necessarily he can go after them if he wants to just because they tried to kill him uh but then yeah he can go and go after them for trying to kill him him and Lori can have that one last showdown in like some type of grand spectacle type deal whether it's at the myers house i would personally like to see the whole series wrap up at the uh sanitarium he was at smith grove smith grove sanitarium i'd like to see the final final uh climax of the movie or the final scene or sequences of this new upcoming film to take place within smith's Grove sanitarium you have a nice little brawl between michael laurie and the other strolls women uh michael myers is finally killed case closed book done halloween's over have i i would really i really think we need to end it halloween doesn't need to keep going and going and going and going and going i'm not necessarily excited for this sequel i didn't think that a sequel was needed for the last movie uh then again there was room to tell more stories so it's, it's not like it's not like they didn't have warrants to make another sequel it's just that i don't think you needed to do another one that's just my opinion uh so i hope that they do kill him in this next movie i hope that they kill michael myers i hope he goes out in a bang because he is my favorite slasher uh i just hope the series ends nicely with this new movie and it's not just another sequel i hope this is a definitive end for michael myers so I'm excited to see what direction they take. If it's not in the same night, I am going to lose a little bit of interest because now you're already starting to do what ended up leading to the other movies that you're ignoring, ignoring becoming so irrelevant 
and uh, bad in the eyes of fans because you're now detracting and getting further away from the whole intent of the character again. And you're gonna have to start explaining why he's still around. Uh, but those are my thoughts on this news. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.